In order to establish this communication method, we need to use the output PC port, the RJ45 port shown here. One end of the cable is connected to the test kit and the other end is connected to the laptop. The moment we connect, we have to do the LAN settings. Let's see what type of settings we have to do. We click on the properties. IPv4. Click on properties of IPv4. It has to be set to obtain an IP address automatically. So it's a very simple process and there's no need to verify what the IP address is of the test kit. All you have to do is ensure you configure for a dynamic IP. Close this window and open the RTMS software. Click on Use Ethernet. Ensure that the Auto Discover unit is enabled and then click OK. A new window pops up. We select this icon. Here the software is checking for the instrument and you can see here the SMRT46 serial number is detected. So click on this. It has successfully detected an instrument. So that's it. It's a very simple way of communication. Now let's inject a voltage and verify whether it's reflecting or not. You can see here the voltage is getting reflected which confirms successful communication.